And it begins. What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? Welcome to Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2, everybody. My name is Alex from Unreal Entertainment Gaming, and right now we are about to begin our Let's Play for Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. Let us go to single play, everybody, and let us enter Galaxy Mode beginning with Goku. Now, I already started this a long time ago, so I might as well just go on ahead and complete it. The completion rate is 83%, so we're going to start off with our first battle, which is going to be... Holy shit. Uh, let me see right here. What is the first battle that I start? Ah, oh, there we go. It was Krillin. All right, we're gonna start off with Goku versus Krillin, everybody. I mean, th this is pretty obvious, you know. I mean, back in Dragon Ball days, you know, Krillin did have an advantage. You know, he he was potentially, you know, he he, he could have been greater than Goku, but Krillin, you know, he, he wasn't all there, sort of say, and you know how that goes. But I mean, I remember watching Dragon Ball way back in the day when Krillin was actually better than Goku, and it was actually kind of scary at the same time, you know. Shit. All right, come on, Goku. There is no way, there is no way under God's hot sun that Krillin would be able to defeat Goku at this stage. Are you are you insane? Even a, a blindfolded, sleeping, stuck in the basement Stevie Wonder can see that shit. There's absolutely no way, in my opinion, that I think anybody could even come close to defeating Goku except for probably either Vegeta or Gohan if Gohan actually tried hard enough, you know what I mean? Um, but as for Vegeta... Like I said, guys, I always wanted to see Vegeta do something right for once. Uh, he never really got all the credit that he actually wanted, deserved. Um, but nonetheless, neither did Krillin. Now, a lot of you guys often want to compare Krillin to Yamcha, which is the worst character ever, by the way. Or Tien, um, as the uh, strongest Earthling, you know, on the planet. As you can see right there, I just got a perfect. Look at that. Fuck you, Krillin! And, uh, I mean, amongst, amongst the uh, humans, everybody, who do you think is the strongest human amongst the pack is it krillin is it yamcha is it you know tn is it fucking yajirobe i mean that's kind of that's kind of a joke but you know how that goes all right so right now we're gonna move on and we're gonna go right here oh look at that speak of the devils yamcha and tn i mean yamcha shouldn't even be a a freaking challenge for me at all because i mean look at him he's just a big fat joke um, I feel so bad for tn because he was the only one that ha that actually had any you know um spotlight moments or anything that had to do with uh something epic you know he only had his epic moments when he fought cells so i mean look at goku he would smash everybody there yeah, especially him yamcha the most useless character in dragon ball history now i know a lot of you guys have been watching my videos lately about uh dragon ball z battle of z and supposedly the game will be coming out this year and a lot of you guys were saying oh it might come out in 2014 and whatnot now i mean i wouldn't be surprised at the same time, I would love to see Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z come out for the next-gen consoles because that would be pretty awesome. You know, how awesome would that be if you had a Dragon Ball Z game for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? Um, granted, it's always a good thing for them to come out with a, with the Dragon Ball Z game for the current generation consoles. But it's just like, you know, when are we going to actually get another Dragon Ball Z game that's going to be for the next-generation consoles? Now, granted, if they do do something like that, I really do hope to God that they incorporate a better mechanic like more customization for your own character possibly for the first time ever allowing players to create their own maps how awesome oh shit i hit my fuck you tn yeah tn's the only one that did damage to me amongst everybody else amongst krillin yamcha oh yeah tri beam attacks oh, okay okay you, you you got it you got it tn remember you almost beat me at the world my scratch i remember yeah, that ain't happening i mean even when i was watching uh what was that movie when they fought um, when Tien fought Trunks in a uh, Bojack Unbound, when I first saw Trunks fight Tien, I'm like, wait a minute, this, this is not possible because future Trunks can easily decimate somebody, you know, and that's what I realized about Dragon Ball Z a very long time ago. Um, they often want to test their limits, like, in, in, in their weakest form. Like, for example, if Goku were to fight Frieza right now, right, like, like, like alright, let's say Frieza came back. Goku would try to fight him in his normal form because he would want to see where he stands in terms of being at his normal level. And then if he feels the need that he has to ascend, he would actually just, you know, go the extra mile and become a Super Saiyan. And uh, to me, that speaks a lot because, you know, in, in this particular fight, I can actually see normal Goku taking on everybody, you know, and, and winning by far. Because Goku in his uh, current normal level, he's got to be you know as equivalent as to a super saiyan one i mean there's absolutely no reason to think that he's not because technically even though dragon ball gt isn't really canon 
Um, a lot of people often want to say that Goku's normal level in GT was equivalent to a Super Saiyan 3. And that's actually pretty fucking scary because when he fought Baby, Baby completely decimated him. So, But right now, we're about to fight Turles. And Turles was actually a very interesting character because he looked like Goku. He was a little darker than Goku, but he was certainly strong as shit. Here we go. Kakarot, you disgrace all Saiyans. My name is Goku, is, is, is this I'm guy Earth. serious? Is Turles serious? I'm a disgrace to all Saiyans. Bitch, you could have became a good guy. Can you imagine if Turles was a good guy? That'd be kind of confusing, don't you think? I mean, but then again, you can always use the element of confusion to, you know, confuse your opponents. Like, for example, let's say they were all going to fight Cell. You just have Goku and Turles at the same time during that battle. You know, it's like, oh shit, who the hell is going to win this one? Mega! Turles is done. I remember when I first saw that movie. I think it was uh, World's Strongest. Look at that game over right there. Look at that. K fucking O. Perfect. Turles could not touch Goku even on his best day. There's absolutely no way. I mean, granted, you know, The World's Strongest was a, uh, what, what, was a good movie. I think it was The World's Strongest or Tree of Might. I think it was Tree of Might, one of those. So I, I keep getting the titles confused, but certainly, nonetheless, Turles would not even stand the chance. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to fight androids 13 and 19 and 20. That's, that, that's the one thing that I always hated about those androids was... You know, um, they kill Dr. Giro way too fast. Holy shit, look at that blast over there. Look at that crater. Did you guys just see that? Holy crap. Let's do this. Let's go, Goku. I will drain the out of your you hear this piece of shit? I remember when Goku first fought 19. I was I was so like hype about it. I was just like, oh my god, Goku's like the fucking best thing since, you know, the microwave. And then once his, you know, energy started depleting, I was just like, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? I'm not used to this, Goku. But right now, I'm about to turn Super Saiyajin! Oh my god. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comment section below on who your favorite android is of all time. And we're not including Cell. We're not including Cell. Who is your favorite android of all time, ladies and gentlemen? Is it 19? Is it 20? Is it 13? Is it 15? Is it 16? Is it 14? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below on some of the future androids you would love to see if there was a new series to be announced by Akira Toriyama. For me, I would love to see androids 21, 22, and 23. That'd be pretty awesome, like, you know? I mean, why the fuck not? They already did everything else, you know, so why not incorporate... Oh, you're screwed, Jiro. Come here, Brian! Jiro would not survive. Well, actually... Do you guys think Dr. Jiro can actually survive with a blast like that? Because... I mean, granted, he, he is able to absorb attacks and whatnot, but do you guys think Dr. Jiro can actually survive a, a full-powered Kamehameha by Goku? Oh, shit, 13. I, I actually like 13, but the one thing that I hated about him was the fact that he actually he, he didn't really look that believable until he transformed, you know? Um, there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly normal. Um, but the fact that they, he had to rely on actually fusing was what kind of pissed me off. I was like, really? Like, you're gonna fuse right now? Like, why won't you just be able to be credible as a regular android? Why must you fuse? Oh, look, there's no way. And, and plus, when Goku absorbed that spirit bomb, that was the most epic thing in history. Like, I, I really I really don't know if you, if you guys want to count that as canon or not, but that's what I would like to see more in Dragon Ball. Is like, let Goku absorb a fucking spirit bomb. Like, how awesome would that be if Goku just said, you know what, the hell with everything, I'm going to absorb the spirit bomb, I'm going to take its energy, and I'm just going to, you know, do what I have to do to defeat this guy, you know? Oh, shit, we got the fucking Ginyu Force up next. Bring it on. I think the Ginyu Force was the biggest, like, bunch of idiots. Like, they, they were just a joke. Everybody in that group was a joke to me. I did not take anybody serious in, in the Ginyu Force. There's absolutely no way you could take anybody from the Ginyu Force serious. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... I mean, alright, at least Captain Ginyu was somebody that I, uh, actually thought was legit. I mean, I mean, look, look at Gluto. Look at fucking Gluto. He has eyes on the side of his head. I mean, what, what is he good at? Like, what, what the fuck is Gluto even good at? Tossing rocks? I mean, when I first started watching him, um, you know, when he first debuted with the Ginyu Force, I was just like, are you fucking serious? Now look at me right now. I am going to turn into a fucking Super Saiyan 3! Then I am going to knock this little shit back. To I mean, there's absolutely no way Gluto can even think about surviving something like this. If Goku went Super Saiyan 3, 
Gluto would absolutely, like, he would shit his pants. There's no way Gluto would even come close. He'd get decimated. And then you got Big Ass Raccoon, who had a lot of potential as a big character, but then ultimately fucked up because he was just so stupid. Alright, the Ginyu Force was good up until when they started doing the, uh, the silly poses. That was just so absurd. Like, I was like, alright, you're gonna have a very powerful team of, you know, assassins and you know, mercenaries and fighters and whatnot, and why are you gonna make him do that stupid fucking pose? Look at, look at, raccoon kick! Shut the hell up with your raccoon kick bullshit. He's out, there's no way. I, I, I just put raccoon through a bunch of rocks. And here comes Birder. And th that was another thing, they actually built Birder up pretty good, because Birder was supposed to be the fastest living thing in the entire universe, you know? And that actually made you think, like, wow, do you guys think Goku is faster than Birder? Or is Vegeta faster than Birder, you know? Um, I would have loved to see Go- oh, not, not Goku, but I would love to see Vegeta actually kill some people. Um, for example, I would have loved it if Goku killed Raccoon, Vegeta killed Jace and Birder, uh, along with Gluto. And Goku, you know, kills Captain Ginyu. That that would have made Vegeta at least be a little bit more credible, I guess. Oh shit! Okay, okay. That would not even affect me, you little piece of crap. Oh, he's done. Jace is done. There's absolutely look at that. One, like just one Kamehameha, and that was the end of him. Now we have Captain Ginyu. See, this is the thing. Why didn't Captain Ginyu ever even think about absorbing Frieza's body? I mean, not, not, not absorbing him, but like switching bodies. Why didn't Captain Ginyu think about switching bodies? That was one thing that I never really understood about him. I was like, alright, you're able to switch bodies, which is good, because now you can actually become, you know, a beast, like a juggernaut. But why aren't you, like, switching bodies with Frieza, you know? So, I mean, up until when Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan, Frieza was the strongest thing going on there, you know? So why, why didn't Captain Ginyu just do the right thing? What the hell just happened? Oh, you think you're gonna beat me? Get the fuck out of here. Come out of here! Okay, yo, get your ass out of here. Like, that's the thing. I, I was always like, wait a minute. Like, do you actually love Frieza the way you say you do? Because, like, why would you want to just not absorb him or just switch bodies with Frieza, you know? That would have been very interesting nonetheless. Oh shit. Piccolo and Gohan. Mission is win against the enemy who powers up. Okay, contagions. Pony gets stronger when remain. Okay, alright, so... Pretty much just beat Piccolo and Gohan, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I remember when I saw Kid Gohan actually try to train with Piccolo and Goku. I don't know if you guys saw that or not way back in the day, but uh, Piccolo and Goku were training and Gohan tried to step in the mix and Goku looked at him and he was like, Gohan, you're way too slow and Gohan was going extremely fast, but for Goku that was slow, you know? How many times we've fought. It still gets more interesting each time. Yeah, oh shit. I get goosebumps every time I fight. Oh man, I really do hope for Battle of Z um, that they actually utilize different mechanics for the system. I mean, it, lo it looks just like, uh, you know, Raging Blast 2 and it looks like uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai Tenkaichi. But for me, I mean, 4 on 4, that's perfect. If any one of you guys wants to play me or be on my team when, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z comes out, be my guest because I will be the first person, trust me when I say that, I will be one of the first people to bring you some of the most epic things you will ever see in Dragon Ball Z. Um, especially if they're gonna have Bills and everybody and Whis along with what if characters and like giants and whatnot and the GT characters, you guys are in for a spectacular treat, I promise you that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be getting the game for the Xbox 360, so if anybody's gonna get it for the Xbox 360 and they wanna play, I mean, just let me know in the comment section below. I do have a full, you know, roster of friends, so I can't really make any guarantees, but I, what I can say is that I will be playing online with anybody who wants to actually play, so that's necessary. That, that, that's a good thing, so. All right, Gohan's about to get his shit blown the fuck out. There's no way this little shit can actually survive against Goku's hits. Like, even if Gohan was blocking, There'd be no way he could survive, like absolutely none. Like it would be disbelievable for Gohan to even say that he can match up Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I mean, if you guys had a count, right? How strong do you think Super Saiyan 3 Goku was during the end of the Kid Buu saga, honestly? Like how strong do you guys think Super Saiyan 3 Goku was towards the end of the Kid Buu saga? And then compare him 
to how strong he was after the GT Saga. Now, GT is not canon. I understand that. But remember, guys, it's still Dragon Ball. You know what I mean? Um, as much as we would like to say that, hey, GT isn't canon, there are a few things within Dragon Ball GT that are canon to, in, in, in a sense. Uh, for example... Um, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was originally created, oh shit, cooler, uh, was originally created by Akira Toriyama, um, his original idea was to have a Super Saiyan 4 fusion, um, but he really didn't come out with the actual, uh, design of Gogeta, he just came up with the concept, so that, that, that's relatively a good thing, and why is Cooler going to fight me on the Supreme Kai brand, what the hell? Looks like I'm gonna have to punish you just like I did Frieza. Oh! <laughs> I won't go out like my little brother. See, Cooler, Cooler's strong as fuck. Like, I already know that. And a, and a lot of you guys know that as well, like, you know? And actually, when I was reading the comments in my uh, other videos, a lot of you guys feel that Cooler was stronger than Frieza. But here's the thing. Frieza actually gave Goku a run for his money. Even though Goku was, quote-unquote, superiorly stronger than Frieza during dynamic fight, he still actually, you know, gave Goku a run for his money. It's not like he didn't fucking do anything. Like, wow, cool, just kicking my fucking ass. Back up, back up. Is he, is he, oh, there, I get the fuck up. Oh, shit. Yeah, right, you will. Oh, shit, this is a back and forth thing right now. Okay. All right, I know I'm not going to die during this. Ah! I'm going to beat the shit out of you, so help me, God. Back up. Back up. Yeah, that's right. All I need is some time right now. There we go. Oh, shit, he countered. All right, well. If super- oh shit, what the fuck? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, whoa. FUCK! Cooler just transformed. That is the- that is an epic transformation. Oh shit, oh shit. Alright, you wanna- uh, you wanna do this? Alright, two can play that game, bitch. Super Saiyan 2, baby. That's right, there's no way Cooler can survive this. Do you guys think Cooler has another form? Or do you guys think Weeza has another form? Because remember, Cooler did say- oh. I was stronger than my brother, but then I, um, oh, no, no, he said his brother was stronger until he found that form. Goodbye, Cooler, there's no way. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, uh-uh. But I always wondered if, like, people like King Cold actually had another form, or, uh, Frieza, if he was able to find another form, you know, after his final form, quote-unquote. Um, you know, despite everything we believe in Dragon Ball, uh, if you think it's somebody's final form, it may not be, you know? What the hell is this? Alright, so I have to pretty much unlock this. Alright, so we're gonna go down more. What is this? Alright, we fought them, we fought them. We're going down here. We're gonna fight Vegeta. That should be very interesting. Goku versus Vegeta. Still, one of my favorite fights of all time was when Majin Vegeta fought Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And I feel like that fight should have actually carried on even more because it had a lot of meaning. But this is the original battle, as you can see, the mountains and the rocks and all that kind of stuff. Holy shit. Even a reject can pass an elite if he trains hard enough. Let me assure you, this is one fight that no amount of training could prepare you for. Holy shit. I mean, Vegeta, I love Vegeta to death. But, like, this is the, this is the thing. Why don't they ever give Vegeta, like, the moment of, you know, a moment of glory? You know, I always wonder that. Shit. Like, they never do anything for Vegeta, you know? Oh, shit. Okay, back up. You think you were gonna do that? She crazy? I'm a fucking pro at this game. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Did Goku just do it? Oh, oh, all right, all right. Vegeta, Vegeta, listen to me very carefully. I can actually transform into this. Huh? You can't. Watch this. Watch this. Bang! Can you do that? Can you imagine if Goku was able to transform into a Super Saiyan during his original fight with Vegeta? How pissed do you think Vegeta would have been? Honestly, because. If you want to look at Vegeta from a certain perspective, he would have been the most... Oh, what the fuck is he doing? Oh, shit, he actually hit me with the finisher. Holy shit, Vegeta actually hit me with the finisher. Hey, Vegeta actually fucking hit me with the finisher. Hey, Vegeta, guess what? Oh, two can play that game. Oh, Vegeta would be dead. I don't care what anybody says. Vegeta would be dead on the ground. Just done. Game over. That would have... Oh, shit. He's going to hit me with his fucking special. He's going to hit me with his fucking special. Not if I hit you first. Oh! That douchebag actually freaking countered my shit. I'm not going to let you win. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Back Oh, look at that. I kicked him right in the face, and that was the end of it. I am not losing to him. But I have more important things to do than play games. Look at that. Goku just said it right there. I have more important things to do than play games. This is actually freaking surreal. Goku, I mean, 
I, I love Vegeta. I still think. What the hell? Oh, I got a Dragon Bar on Rock. Look at that. Holy crap. I mean, I love Vegeta to death. I still think he should have gotten glory. What the hell? Oh, we have a lot of shit to unlock. All right, what is this? Holy shit. Ve I'm, I'm going to have to fight Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, Kid Buu, and Broccoli. This is going to be very interesting. I think Goku can defeat them all. I mean, the toughest one there would be Kid Buu. And no, it would not be fucking Broly. Jesus Christ, guys. I love Broly to death, but there's no way. There's no way he's stronger than Kid Buu. You guys are insane. Reject can pass an elite. Yes, Goku, tell him. I just fought you once, and I will fight you again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Thank God I just did my little ballerina thing. Brega! All right, I can't really mess this up because I remember when I was playing this as a kid, I actually fucked up a lot, so I'm just going to take it real quick as a Super Saiyan 3. And I'm just going to start fucking unloading Kamehameha's on everybody. If anybody has a problem, we'll talk about it. Come on. Oh, shit, shit. Brega! Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, that'd be, that, that would be the end of Vegeta. There's absolutely no way. That would be the end of him. I don't care what anybody says. All right, Vegeta's out for the count. Introducing Frieza right there. There we go. You know, I, I love Frieza to death. You know, I always thought he was a very uh, unique individual, so to say. But I always wondered, like, like, is Frieza capable of actually being a legit villain that can put fear in people's hearts? Like, you look at Frieza, it's like sometimes you get confused, like, alright, hey, listen, are you a boy or a girl, number one? Oh, he's fucking done. Oh, yeah, that's right, just sit down, just, just sit down. I took care of Frieza without him even touching me. Oh, fucking Cell. And, I mean, Cell is a whole nother story. Cell is just fucking Cell, you know what I mean? There's no way anybody can even refute how powerful Cell really is. And I feel like everybody should have fought him during the Cell games because that would have made him look even more credible. At, le at least from a certain aspect he would have. Oh shit, I have to fucking fight this asshole now. I got help him, let me see here. Oh, I actually got him. I actually got Cell. Holy fucking crap. And up next is the toughest opponent of them all, which is freaking this guy, Kid Bear. Kid Bear. I'm sorry, but Kid, Kid Buu is such a beast. He should have been stronger. He, he, he actually should have been stronger than Super Buu, uh, Gohan Absorb. Because Kid Buu was absolutely crazy. That's what made him so special. Kid Buu didn't give a shit about anybody. And, and, and that's what... Oh, shit! You think I'm stupid? That's why I love Kid Buu, because he really didn't care. He had no remorse. Every single character always came in the Dragon Ball series, and it was always like... I'm gonna destroy the planet. I'm gonna destroy the planet. I'm gonna destroy the planet. Kid Buu, he just came in and he did it. Oh shit, look at Broccoli. Look at Mr. Broly. Broly would not even come close to Goku. I'm sorry. At this form, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, I, I've seen I've seen so many uh, fan-made uh, comics that involve Broly fighting Vegito. Broly fighting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. How can Broly even come close to characters like that? There's absolutely fucking no way Broly can compare to Vegito. No way. Like, no way possible. Like, right here, just proved my point. Goku would have annihilated Broly. Look at that. Sorry, but I have more important things to do than play games with you. Look at that. I mean, granted, if they all teamed up against Goku, it would have been a different story. Like, I'm pretty sure they would have created decoys and they could have created other stuff as well, but there's no fucking way, man. No way. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this episode of Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2, everybody. My name is Unum Entertainment Gaming. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news information updates. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found this video entertaining and good, please hit this video up with a like. Share this video, guys. Please share the video to your friends and family to help support the series. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Stay tuned for the second episode because, as you know me, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z guy. I will be expecting all of you to be there in the second episode. Peace.